The ban on bath salts isn't deterring stores and their customers. Today, we uncovered the new high. Our investigation turned up powders with new names like glass or jewelry cleaner. But officials tell us they too are illegal. Jordan Burgess is live with the danger of this drug and the difficulty of getting rid of it. When we heard the bath salts were being sold under different names, we decided to take a look for ourselves and found that for about 50 bucks, you can buy a package like this of what's called glass cleaner. But I could tell you that nobody's spending that much to wipe down their mirrors. The war on bath salts isn't being fought with bullets, but with beakers. It is, it is definitely a cat and mouse game. And um, as one substance gets banned, it's chemically altered to the next substance. Here at the Miami Valley Regional Crime Lab, chemists are trying to keep up with the new compounds being used to get around the ones now outlawed in Ohio. Since the ban, they tell us they're seeing five to seven cases a week. That's more than they did before the law took effect. Hopefully there is an end. We are hoping that um, some of the cases that we're seeing that do contain structurally similar compounds will be able to be prosecuted in Ohio. But that hasn't stopped some stores from selling it. The package we bought is called Glass Cleaner, but we peeled back the sticker and found the name Bath Salts underneath. The package contains a claim that it's lab certified and doesn't contain any of the outlawed substances. But officials say switching the chemical compound or the name doesn't change the fact it's illegal. If they're labeled as jewelry cleaner, um, hookah pipe cleaner, we've seen some labeled as snow remover or, or demelting ice agents, um, definitely be leery. The reason for the concern is because of cases like the one in Troy last week where one man was found dead and a second put in intensive care due to a drug mixture that police say included bath salts. The drugs have been known to cause intense hallucinations. That is very dangerous. I mean, just look at the other night. And those in Troy say they raided a store that was selling the new bath salts last month. They're still waiting on results from the crime lab to go ahead with the case so you can see how the chemical changes can complicate things. Reporting live, Jordan Burgess, 2 News on your side.